Hey everyone, so I promised in the last Learn Electronics video about basic operations with powers, I'd give a couple recommendations if you are feeling a little overwhelmed. I don't want you to be intimidated by math. You can go a long way tinkering with electronics with minimal math skills, but to really understand electronics, we do need some basic math skills. This channel's purpose is electronics and not math, so with that in mind, I'll be suggesting a couple other resources in this video to help sharpen your math skills. I'll talk a little bit about each and what might be right for you. One of them's completely free even. All right, let's get into it. If you're the type of person who has always struggled with math and you just don't get it, I'm gonna recommend checking out some Saxon math books. Now, hear me out. I know people hate books. My second recommendation is gonna be a more online interactive resource, but hear me out for a minute. The Saxon math curriculum is what they call an incremental development. Math is a language. It requires practice and repetition to master, and more importantly, to remember, which is the focus of this curriculum. It introduces concepts and topics incrementally throughout the books and gives you tons of practice. This curriculum doesn't just teach you a topic, have you practice a little bit, and then move on where you'll forget what you learned by the end of the book. This drove me a little nuts back when I was in college. I remember having a conversation with my physics professor in college where I brought up Saxon math. She was familiar with the curriculum and expressed the sentiment that more schools should adopt an incremental strategy like Saxon uses for teaching math. Saxon begins each lesson with an easy to follow and easy to understand lesson and then has some extra practice problems to give you some practice with the new stuff. It then continues with the lesson which consists of around 30 problems. These problems are a mix of more recent, newer stuff that you've just learned and review problems from much earlier in the book. You'll still be doing practice problems from the first lessons towards the end of the book so you'll remember what you learned. Granted, there'll be a little more advanced problems but by then you'll have developed enough mastery to be able to do them. I would suggest this option if you're serious about improving your math skills. These books take time to get through, so you have to be dedicated and consistent. Just like learning an instrument or learning a language, a little bit of practice every day is better than a lot of practice only occasionally. You want to get a solution key with whatever book you choose as well. Their solution keys show you step by step how to solve each problem as opposed to their answer keys which only show you the answers to each problem but not the work involved. If you aren't sure where you're at or what book to get, I'll include a link in the description to some free placement tests. Another thing I like about these books is their accuracy. When I was in college, a huge pet peeve I had was with the quality of the proofreading of our textbooks. My physics book in particular was horrible about this. They had problems that didn't even make sense. The answers to the practice problems are in the back, but more often than not, the answers were wrong or they used the wrong units or something. That is what started that conversation I had with my physics professor when we talked about Saxon math. Anymore, this is kind of commonplace with college books because these book manufacturers are more interested in making money than producing a quality book. But that's a rant for another time. I just wanted to point out though that I've been through all of these Saxon books and I found maybe two or three minor mistakes. These are quality books. They are a little pricey though. I've had good luck buying used ones. Almost all the ones I have are used, but aside from some pencil scribbles here and there, it's definitely worth getting them used. I'll put links in the description if you'd like to check them out. You might also be able to find them at your local library for free. Okay, moving on to my second recommendation. If you're the type of person that likes free stuff, you're gonna love this option. If you did okay with math, but it's been many years and you're a bit rusty and you just need to brush up on it, I'd recommend checking out Khan Academy. I'll put a link down in the description. This option is great if you just hate books. Khan Academy is awesome. It has tons of online courses for free and not just math either. Khan Academy's mission statement is simple and to the point. It states, our mission is to provide a free world-class education to anyone, anywhere. I really believe in what they're doing and I've chosen to financially support them on a monthly basis, especially with everything that's going on in the world right now due to COVID-19. We need resources like this now more than ever. As far as their courses, they have plenty of practice throughout, along with quizzes and tests with a mastery point system to help you know where you're at. Different people learn in different ways, and I get that some people just struggle to learn from a book. If you're like this, this is a great option. You might wonder why I even recommended a book in the first place. I mean, the Saxon math books don't even have pictures or anything. Well, I've already mentioned the practice and repetition thing, but I'll say it again. Practice and repetition. Khan Academy is great, but it's built on a mastery system. You master a skill and move on. 
You may or may not remember what you learned a week or a month or a year down the road. Okay, I've dragged on long enough. To summarize, if you really struggle with math and have always struggled with math, I'd recommend checking out some Saxon math books. It's a big commitment, but it's worth it. If you haven't struggled with math, but it's been a while and you could afford to brush up on it, check out Khan Academy. If you already know all the maths and you can number better than an alien, check out Khan Academy. They have lots of other great topics as well. All right, guys, I hope this video provided some value for you. Let me know in the comments what option seems right for you. I'd love to hear. Don't forget to smash the like button and tell a friend. Hit the subscribe button and jingle the bell to see more content like this, and I'll see you in the next one. This is Life Meet Lightning, bringing a little lightning into your life. Hit the subscribe button and jingle to the bell. Yeah, I know you guys want to hear that. Practice and rap. This was once a computer fan.